So today I'm going to take you on a quick walkthrough itch. And so if you've never used it before, this is a great video to take a look at just to see how to use it. So when you first come into the itch course catalog, you'll see some of the courses um, that are available to you um, that are set up for your account. And so you want to uh, go in and you can uh, enroll in one of the courses. So if you're not already enrolled, um, you'll have to sign up here. So you can enter the course uh, and watch a little video about it if, if you like. Uh, once you go into the course, uh, usually it will um, take you uh, straight to the uh, starting page, which is this video here. So you'll see this uh, video and you can watch that again if you need to, to get around itch. Um, and then I've organized my uh, lessons that I've created under a lesson section. Um, and then usually a couple of other uh, pieces of information up above that. So um, you can watch uh, things like how to share uh, ideas on the projects that we work on. Uh, the teacher for this course might create a class wall or other information that uh, would be available to you. And there's other items that may or may not be there for you depending on how the teacher or creator of the course has set it up. So let's dive into the courses. I'm going to take a look at the breakout course for um, my bouncing ball project that I've created. And uh, if the each course is set up with a template project, you'll go straight into the um, starting project that you get to work from, um, along with uh, you know a number of lessons over here on the right. And you can still see the, the um, outline of, of all the other things. And I'll call it remix uh, because it's a remix of the project. So from here, we can um, go into watching videos that will tell us uh, you know, a little bit about what to do. So if I dive into one of these, for instance, it's called Move the Paddle. Um, I can see that I don't really have enough room here. So I can make more room a couple of ways. I can set this to the small stage layout. Now I can start to see the code. And I can also shrink down the learning management uh, sidebar. So now I've got plenty of room. I can watch my video and I can skip into places that show me where uh, I need to like look at adding um, new code. So I'm going to drag that out and then if I get behind I can click this to pause it and then start it again or I can seek. And on my uh, courses I usually put in some written directions too in case um, you're having trouble with the video. Sometimes if you have a lot of students you might not all be able to watch the video at the same time and so there's still directions there for you. Uh, and then as you go back you might want to move on to the next one and so forth. There's a project page once you're done you, with your project that you can go to and it will show you all the, um, the project you were just working on but you can also view all projects uh, all the course projects from all other students that are in your class and just a list of all your projects which some of them might be in other uh, classes as well and you can create a new one if you like and um, that's about it uh, in the project itself there's also a way to um, once you click on the actual project going in to look at the inside of the project to go back to edit it or you can view the settings to change who gets to see your project or delete it. Uh, and that's about it for getting around itch. I um, hope you have fun doing the projects. Uh, we also allow itch to be integrated into other learning management systems. And um, if you're interested in that, uh, give us a bell. And uh, as well, if you're a teacher or uh, want to create your own courses, uh, we can give you access into the system to add your own videos in pretty easily and make your own courses. So uh, just drop us an email and let us know.